when you're in Atlanta, I mean New York, and it's rainy. Good thing I'm just coming right back home to New Jersey. It's crazy. Just chilling at my favorite spot, you know, my favorite news station down here. Just chilling. I'm just coming right back. I will be right back home. I will be right back home. This is like, I'll be right back home. Get back. My favorite news memories are from WTIX. My favorite news station. Um, I did see him at the VMAs in Newark. I saw WTIX, they were waving right at me. I saw him at the parade. All the parades I've been to. I saw these people everywhere, like they freaking know me. They know who the heck I am. And they know, like I've hung out with these people before. It's like, like I always be around here. Like they know who I am. And they know I watch WB36, I mean WB11. Where WB36 come from? Atlanta? I just chill out here. Yeah. Just take a little, you know, just like Atlanta, you know. I, I remember when we had moved to South Plainfield while my daddy was in Orlando. That's when my mama and I, we went out to Atlanta. It's just like going to New York. That's why I keep getting, you know, Atlanta. <laughs> I think I'm going to go home. Yeah, I think I'm going home after this. Yeah. I need to be sheltered. I can't believe that I still, I still can't believe I met Cedric the Entertainer. That Marissa Jarrett and opened them. So I ran into them virtually a couple times. I virtually saw Steve Harvey live doing the, um, hosting the Isley Brothers versus Earth, Wind and Fire, New Jersey versus Chicago thing. And I, I can't believe how many celebrities I've met. Honestly, that's crazy. Ever since I've been 18, I've been meeting these celebrities. I'm not starstruck as I once was as a kid, but Wendy Raquel Robinson, I met them all. Damn umbrella. On you. A couple more blocks. At least I ate my lunch. That was freaking awesome. Got my lunch as soon as we landed here in New York. 